into this house the beginning of July, July 4th, I think. We had a lot of things to fix up and, and make good for our animals. Like renovated the barn quite a bit and changed it up and made it into an area that we love to hang out in and we love to have our horses in. We ended up having to make like a lot of fences. We did a lot of changes to make it work for us and for our animals. Most of the things that we did worked out really well for us. We tried to think ahead and think how they would work for us, but one of the things that I don't like that we chose to do was how we have the chicken coop all the way over here. So when we moved in, this already was an existing chicken coop. In fact, it had wood in it. It was like a wood shed. But previous to it being a wood shed, it had this area over here and it was a chicken coop. So we knew that that was something that we it would be just be easy. Wow, they've really cleaned it out. Do you guys remember when we first put the chickens in there? This was all forest. And now it's just a big old chicken coop. It's so hot out right now that there's not even a chicken out, outside. So it just seemed easy to make this into our chicken coop. We have our main chicken coop here. We have the brooder here. And then that's our step up from the brooder before they go into the main chicken coop. And we have three little silkies in there that are just about ready to move over with the big guys. Now that we've lived here for a couple of months, I really, really wish that we had taken our time and put a little coop inside that big old barn on the top it would have been difficult because i know that raccoons can get in there i think that's one of the reasons why we decided not to do that but i really wish the chickens were out in this area so that they could have free range with our our goose and our duck our goose would be a livestock guardian to our chickens and keep them safe and this is the hub of our little barn. In the morning, I sometimes eat breakfast out on the step, steps over there and all the animals come over here and they all eat together. <laughs> Look at, he's having a nap. <laughs> he looks so mad with his eyes like that. That is one of the things that I really wish that I had we had done differently. I don't know for sure that it would have been easier because like I said, I don't know how we could, I'm not sure that we could have predator proofed them as well in that barn but I wish that the chicken coop was over in this area. Even if we had put it right here in this little section, I just wish, actually this section would be great because then the chickens could have this whole entire run here. So that might be, that might have to be a project for the spring. Now, um, I'm all for living in a place and figuring out the things that you don't like and then changing them up, but it's getting late in the season and predator, predator proofing is definitely something that has to, weigh heavily on all of our choices and I don't really love the idea of chickens so close to the horses even though I know chickens can be close to the horses and a lot of people have them there are diseases that go between chicken and horses so chickens can make your horses sick so maybe we'll just leave them I don't know I just feel bad that our chickens don't free reign maybe I will switch it up move the duck and the goose and put them over near the chickens and create a bigger run out there that they can free range out there and keep the goose and the duck with the chickens next spring definitely i'll be changing things up in that in the whole chicken department another thing that i don't love is that my first aid kit is over here in this corner there's not a lot of room over in this section for me to have my first aid kit so i definitely am going to be switching this up i think i've decided that i'm going to paint this shelf here white and that ooh, I am going to make this into my first aid cabinet. It's situated close to the barn. You can run in and grab what you want or grab what you want on your way to the horses. So that's definitely where I'm going to put my first aid kit. That's a project for really soon. I'm just going to go and try and find some paint. And once I get some paint, I'm gonna get to work on this. Like I said, there are many things that we chose when we first moved into this property that I absolutely love. I thought I was gonna hate the poop pile here, but the fact that Sam keeps it pushed back for the most part, I love this area and I'm gonna tell you why. This is the driveway here. Any time we have somebody that's gonna come and pick this up for us, they're going to be able to come, drive through the driveway, come directly here, load up their tractor, easy access to get rid of the poop. But this is not a video about what works. <laughs> What's amazing on this farm? This is a video about all the things that don't work for us. The last thing we made a mistake with, or at least I feel we made a mistake with, when we moved here, we knew that we were gonna need a dry paddock. A dry paddock is a paddock that 
doesn't have grass so that you can keep any horses that can't have grass. So those are your horses that are prone to founder, your laminitic, your lemon knit it courses it's your often people use a dry paddock for winter time so if this was bigger we could put all of our horses out here when winter comes and they're not going to ruin any of our pastures ours isn't big enough for that at least not the way it is now possibly we could make it bigger so we had to build this because we had a sick horse he has lyme disease and he was having episodes of laminitis so we couldn't put him out on grass so, so this was a vital thing that we absolutely had to have so we came out here and we built this and we ended up fencing all this in. Before we moved in, you were able to just walk into the barn, out of the barn, and down here into this other pasture, uh, into this other area where we keep the goats. But now that we have it all fenced off, until recently when I made Sam put a gate here, it made us not be able to get from this barn to that barn easily. And it has been an absolute nightmare. No matter where her destination is, we can never get there easily. Even with the gate there, I still wish there was an easier way to get to that barnyard down there because like I said, that's where we do all of our goat chores. It's where we take care of our goats and it's hard to get down in there. Say this barn, this farm has too many gates might be an understatement. I didn't think it would be a problem when we first moved in, but now I see that it makes, it makes things difficult going from one area to the next especially with the goats trying to keep our buck separated from the girls. For example, I brought some corn I wanted to give to the goats and it, I left it back in that barn. But to get back to that barn, I can't go through this door here because it's tied up really tight so that the goats can't get through. I have to go through this door all the way around and then back into the barn. Definitely not the easiest way, especially if you're like me and you forget things all the time and you're going back and forth and around all the time. The last thing that I wish we had done differently is I wish that we had bought more geese. I wish that we had three geese. I like the duck, but I really like the goose and I feel like there's not really a place for them on this farm. They hang out with the uh, horses that's who they that's who they relate to the best but i wish that i had got more geese it's, it's early fall now and you can't find geese eggs they only lay in spring and summer so hatching our own geese which is our favorite thing to do is is impossible now you can't do it i wish that we had hatched or bought three geese at the same time so that they could be their own little flock. They wander around aimlessly, lost. They follow me everywhere. He is really attached to me and I wish he had like an actual little flock for him to be attached to. I love the duck, but I definitely wish we had more than one goose. And that we will fix as soon as spring arrives. We'll be getting some eggs and experimenting with breeds. I have a, breed, a dream breed of goose picked out for us. So we will be adding more geese, two more for sure, to our little flock, probably two females because he's a male. Don't you know that you're beautiful?